I do editorial illustration, but like, what is it? Like, what is that? It's just adding interest to a article. Like you're just highlighting an article that might get uh, looked over in a way. The first um, editorial illustration I ever did um, was for Wired Magazine. I'd been making gig posters and it was just like a fun side project thing. So I have this poster I did for Wilco and somebody at, at Wired Magazine saw this and they're like, hey, that's really awesome. I love that poster. Do you happen to do editorial illustration? First time I did this, I didn't really know what I was doing. I just kind of was just doing it. I thought they'd want to see final art for some reason. I thought they'd want to see like finished final illustrations for each step of the phase when all they really wanted to see was sketches. The article is about design thinking and it's solving global problems. A lot of these weren't necessarily a right for the project. They were nice enough to let me finalize the illustration and it did end up in a place where it was this. It would have been so much easier if I just sketched, if I just would have taken my time and really tried to solve the problem versus just getting on my computer and being like, I'm gonna be awesome and illustrate stuff. And this was the final illustration. It was funny because even though I went through all that rigmarole and stuff, I think the article got killed anyways. <laughs> so it was kind of a fun learning experience. The way I approach it now is the first part of the phase is just reading and drawing and not thinking about illustrating on the computer at all. It's just about solving the problem, getting approval from the art director, and then going to the computer. The phase up front just takes as long as the phase of actually illustrating it for me. So typically I'll get you know, an email saying if I'm available to do an illustration. The amount of information you actually get about the article varies vastly. It can usually be like two sentences versus like a nice paragraph summary versus like the full article. This was one I did recently for Money Magazine. But this one was about how to not work on the weekends and vacations. So it's just kind of like this illustration of, you know, this surfboard with a laptop plugged into it. For this, I had like a nice paragraph, the overview of the article. It says how to not work on nights, weekends, and vacations. From there, I'll start sketching. In this case, I actually had like a word list of things I immediately wrote down just from my own brain that immediately came to my mind from thinking about vacation. And even just doing that, by the end, I'm talking about a grill with an iPhone on it. Like, what's that? Like, that's just a weird thing that came out of my head. I think that's what a word list can kind of do in a short amount of time, is just take your brain to somewhere new. After I read the article, kind of get like the main idea and do a little bit of word listing, I start sketching. Bottle of sunblock. I wrote the book you've been meaning to read on this book. <laughs> I don't know what that was, just goofy. Oh, I think this was like the second round of stuff. We refined this idea and this idea, but we ended up going with this one. When I'm saying we and these things, it's like me and the art director are our team and we're trying to get this thing approved by the editor. So this was like a series of icons I did for the Atlantic recently. There's six icons here, but I still did a, like a ton of sketching for that. I just like to send a lot of ideas and I like the ideas to be good, obviously. So this was one I did for Playboy, which was one of the funner jobs I got to do. The article title was Car Castration, and the whole idea was like, the last shred of our manhood is basically driving a car really fast. When a robot car drives you from point A to point B, um, how that will kind of go away. And you can see like lots of really kind of goofy ideas came to me immediately. The first idea obviously I had, which actually they kind of went with in the end, was to have a guy looking at a rear view mirror and like these fuzzy dice being cut off by this giant comical pair of scissors. And you can see the, like the different levels of the process where I just made everything in grayscale and then, you know, added some texture in there and that was it. And this is it in the magazine. Editorial illustration isn't always necessarily illustration. You get to do like a lot of like logo -y stuff for magazines. This was actually a series of badges and icons I did for Esquire. It says culinary education program. So let's just go with that. And I made these little icons. And this was one of those jobs where they just wanted me to make like one. And since I did such a good job with sketching, I actually made like four or five other little icon spots for it. I gave them like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's how it ended up being kind of like more of a job. This is a piece I made for Real Simple Magazine about decoding food labels. This was like a nice balance between type and image and balancing illustration with typography. You don't necessarily have to use the words, but um, it makes a lot, it can make it a lot funner if you do. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.